Hi, I'm Dr. Bernie Pouquet, and this is Dr. Tears. And uh, did I pronounce that correct? Yes. Yeah, great. And today we're going to talk about doing a physical exam uh, on a cat. And the reason we're doing that is to show you what goes on in our minds when we're doing an examination. And I think some people are surprised when they see exactly how much information we can get considering that they don't talk, yeah, we absolutely. gain a lot of information. And so we started, this is Emerald, and we have no idea why she was named Emerald, do we? No. No, <laughs> but there you go, her name's Emerald, and we're gonna do an exam, and you're gonna start off with what? I'm gonna start at the head. Well, okay. actually, we're gonna start by looking at her just on the table. Yeah. We're gonna see if she's using all of her limbs, if she's walking well, limping, things like that. Yeah, and just, is she thin, is she too fat, yeah, too thin? Yeah, her body condition. Yeah, body condition. And then we start from nose to toes, right? That's right. We're going to start at her head, and we're going to look at her head, make sure everything looks the same on both sides, everything's symmetrical, um, nothing's drooping, things like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Eyes. Eyes. What are you, what are you gonna, looking for with the eyes? We're going to look at her eyes. We're going to make sure that both eyes are open. Um, we're going to look for redness in the eyes and the tissue surrounding the eyes. Make sure there's no discharge. There's no discharge, yep. of that. And then we go next, we go. We're going to go, yeah, we're going to look at what the nose on the way to the teeth, make sure there's no discharge from the nose. Then we're going to look at the teeth, we're going to lift up the lips and look at these teeth and make sure the teeth are nice and clean, there's no redness in the gums, things like there's that. There's a build up, things like That's that. That's right, yeah. yeah. Anything on the tongue, make sure that mouth is fine. And then next we go to the ears, right? Yeah, next we're okay. going to look at the ears. Um, cats especially, we're going to look for debris that might yeah. indicate ear mites, yeah. make sure they're nice and clean. Yeah. And if need be, we'll use an ophthalmoscope, uh, an otoscope rather, to have a look to see if there's anything deep down inside. Yeah, that's but right. they look good for now. Yeah. And so, I go to the lymph nodes. Yes. Same as you? Yes. We're yeah. going to make sure the lymph nodes are not enlarged um, under the neck here. Then we're going to look at the lymph nodes in the shoulders. Right. And then sometimes we sneak to the back and right. look at the lymph nodes right. in the back. And what do the lymph nodes do? They'll enlarge sometimes if there's an infection, they react into the infection. They drain that area, exactly. So if we find that they're enlarged, then what we're going to do is we worry about things like infection, uh, cancer, that type of thing. Yeah. So that tells us a lot too. That's then we right. move on to the chest. Yeah, we're going to listen to the chest. We're going to use our stethoscope and listen to the heart and the lungs. Okay. Make sure the heart sounds good right. and the lungs are clear. Right, exactly. And then we move on to the abdomen. Then we feel the abdomen. So you see the veterinarian doing this a lot. Yes. So it's not just gently caressing, there's a reason yes. for it. We're actually right. feeling some of the organs inside okay. the abdomen. And what organs can we feel? Just go over those again. We can yep. feel. We're feeling for the liver, kidneys, intestines, making sure we don't feel any masses. Yeah. The bladder. We, bladder. We, we yep. learn a lot from that, don't we? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And then we end up at the end back. End up in the back. Make sure the bum looks okay. Tails functioning okay. And and she's good, eh? Yeah, she's, she's excellent. Patient. She's yeah. excellent. So we're done. Yes. And if there's any problem, we would pursue that. And I think it's important, like we do learn an awful lot, and that really stresses why we need to have regular exams done on our pets. Absolutely. You know, they need maintenance. We want to get the uh, conditions early and things like that. So that, that's why we do what we do. Yes, absolutely. Thank you.